morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the dollar-yen pair and the recent events stirring the markets. Emma. The dollar got a slight bump of 0.2% against the yen in the last session. The ROC is giving a positive signal, going against our overall technical analysis. The last session saw the Bitcoin rise 0.5% against the dollar. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal. The last session saw the gold gain 0.4% against the dollar. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an overbought market. The oil dollar pair dove 4.9% in the last session. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an oversold market. Thank you, Emma, for sharing with us. Now let's hear our news department. The Canadian dollar weakened against its US counterpart, pulling back from a seven-week high as oil prices fell and the greenback rallied against a basket of major currencies. Britain and the Eurozone economies are likely to tip into recession next year, Morgan Stanley said. But the United States might make a narrow escape thanks to a resilient job market. Chinese property stocks and bonds soared as the market cheered Beijing's most comprehensive support measures aimed at boosting liquidity in the sector in its latest attempt to stabilise a key pillar for the world's second largest economy. Thank you, Emma. Now let's hear today's most important economic events. The US Red Book Index will be released at 13.55 GMT, Japan's industrial production at 0430 GMT, the US producer price index at 1330 GMT. German ZEW survey, current situation, will be released at 1000 hours GMT. The Eurozone's ZEW survey economic sentiment at 1000 hours GMT. Japan's capacity utilization at 0430 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.